when you get hurt or you get some bad news, the last thing you want to hear from anyone is to quote a Bible verse or perhaps even for someone to mention Romans 8, 28. But that scripture, it's a promise from God. And the Bible says, for we know that. We don't guess or think, but we know. How do we know that all things work together for good? To them that love God, to them that are the call. Here I am, sitting in a wheelchair. I got my neck broke over 14 years ago. What's good about that? It doesn't say that all things are good. All things work together. You see, God's promising there, if we will get together, us and Jesus, take my yoke upon you, Jesus said, and learn of me. Here's what I did. Me and Jesus, we got together and we made something good come out of this. No broke neck, wheelchair for the rest of my life. Nothing good about that. But I have to work together with God to make something good come out of this. When I go down to the mall, I talk to people, ask them, can I ask you a question? And they don't feel threatened, certainly not, by me. And they'll talk to me. Sure, man, what's up? So, every Tuesday, I go down to the jail, talk to the inmates, try to tell them, hey, remember when Mom made a cake as you put the ingredients in a bowl. Well, I like to lick my finger and get a little taste of what she put in there. Now, flour, I didn't have to do that too many times to determine I do not like flour. I did not like baking soda. Raw eggs don't have very good taste. And you see, God is the master chef. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's making. Me and God, we get together and he puts different ingredients in my life. Why? Because he wants to make something good come out of it. So, when you get the bad news, when you hear of the accident, it's not good. But you and God, working together, can make it good. I've led different people in the hospital to Jesus, countless nurses, doctors, uh, nurses' aides. Just keep working for God. Look, God knows what He's doing. We're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and we're going to give an account of everything that God allowed to come into our life. And that means every problem. Problems in a believer's life is for a reason. You ever get to where you feel like your nose is running? What do you do? 
snip. Mercy. It's tough being in a wheelchair. And you can't blow your nose. Well, just do like this. And keep on keeping on. Work with God. Work out something good. We're not on this life, on this earth very long. So when something bad takes place, get, to with, get together with God. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called. Listen here, if Jesus saved you, then he's calling you to do something for him. And that bad that's coming to your life, he's got a reason, he's got a purpose. Use that, make something good come out of it. And then when I see you in heaven, oh, listen, I'll be that crazy guy. It was sitting in a wheelchair. Uh-uh. Well, we no wheelchairs in heaven. We'll all have fun then. Keep on keeping on for God. Jesus loves you. All things work together. It takes work. And I know I suffer a lot of pain. The work is hard. Just keep working for God. And you'll see it will be worth it all when we see Jesus. Amen.